The German MG-34 machine gun was a masterpiece of military engineering, but it had two major drawbacks that eventually made it necessary to replace it. Today we will talk about what those drawbacks were. After the First World War, Germany was forbidden to develop new weapons, but by circumventing these sanctions, German engineers managed by the late 1920s to create four types of light machine guns. Maintaining such a variety was far too expensive. A single unified machine gun was needed. However, all four variants had their own strengths and weaknesses. For a long time, it was impossible to choose just one of them. The officer responsible for developing a unified machine gun, Major von Weber, came up with a solution to this problem. He ordered military engineers to assemble one weapon using the most successful components and mechanisms from all the previously developed machine guns, and at the Rhine Metal Factory, new work began in earnest. Fitting and adjusting the parts of the new machine gun was a complex and painstaking process, but by 1934 it was ready. It received the designation MG-34, which stands for Maschinengewehr, machine gun, and the number 34 refers to the year of its creation. Often when people try to build something using even the best elements from different systems, the result turns into a Frankenstein. But the Germans managed to create a true masterpiece of military engineering. Advantages of the new machine gun, the MG-34 was, if not the best, then certainly one of the best machine guns of its time. There are even claims that it is still being produced and used in armed conflicts today. Fast firing, accurate, with a quick change barrel, it performed superbly not only in conflicts before the Second World War, but during it and even after. It also embodied the concept of a universal machine gun. It could be used as both a light and a heavy machine gun, served in the infantry, and was mounted on armored vehicles as a tank machine gun. There were also anti-aircraft versions of this system. Such unification greatly simplified the training of German soldiers and the supply of the troops. However, during the war, German generals quickly realized that they did not need a masterpiece, but rather something simpler. The MG-34 had only two drawbacks, but they were extremely significant. It was exceptionally complex and expensive to manufacture, and it also imposed very high demands on ammunition quality and on the skill of the operator. As long as the Wehrmacht was winning and its soldiers were steadily improving their skills, the MG-34 was perfectly suitable. But on the Eastern Front, Elite infantry units were gradually worn down, and they were increasingly replaced by soldiers of average ability. In the hands of such poorly trained fighters, the machine gun began to break down more often, and its full potential was never realized. As a result, the next machine gun, the MG-42, was not so much an improvement as a simplification, a deliberate downgrade in cost reduction of the masterpiece. It turned out to be about 30% cheaper than the previous model, and required 50% less metal in production. This does not mean that it was a bad machine gun. It fully matched the spirit of its time and was produced using new, more progressive technologies. It was manufactured using stamping and spot welding, which were already being widely used in the Soviet Union in weapons production. The MG-42 consisted of only 200 parts compared to 258 in the MG-34 which increased the overall reliability of the system. In the end, wars are not won by elite units alone, but by large numbers of average soldiers, although this did not help Germany in the long run. Nevertheless, the MG-34 continued to be produced until the end of the war, though it was used by the Germans mainly as a tank machine gun. After the war, it was adopted by many countries, including the United States, Yugoslavia, and France. In the USSR, this machine gun was not produced due to the large number of captured examples available. What do you think about the MG-34 machine gun? Share your opinion in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.